One of the things I hate when I'm coding um, is if I have an error. So let's say I'm typing up. I say if i equals 9. And I think, oh, I want to go type something else over here. So I have pressed up, and it says, oh, you can't do that. That's a syntax error. So I kind of hate that um, because I want to be able to take some, move from something that's wrong and jump. Let's say, oh, I forgot. I really meant to say i equals 8 here. So I want to be able to do that uh, seamlessly. So the way to do that seamlessly, and I always this is part of my uh, blog post I had on the five tips to make your Visual Basic programming experience much uh, easier. So, um, and this is one of the things I think is just a major causer of headaches. That that annoying pop up is get rid of this auto syntax check. So that's going to take it off for me. So let's say I'm over here. I'm saying if i equals nine, and I say, oh, I forgot something. I can just I just hit up now, and now you see that no error popped up, but it did highlight the offending script in red. So. I still get to jump around because I am a freestyler, as I've come to learn. I'm going to embrace that, um, and I can do it without that annoying pop-up because I really think it just interrupting you is is really one of the one of the things that breaks uh, code flow. You know, sometimes you have an idea and you just want to really just want to jump around and type it out, and then that um, that annoying pop-up happens.